Hi, this is Little Dwarf playing games while rambling incoherently into the microphone. Why? Well, just because I can. And I continue with Return of the Obra Dinn blind. Now, last time I managed to solve the first three fates of the crew. So with that done, I think I explored this part. Mm. Although, wait, I don't think I was here. Mm. Okay, there's nothing here, so I guess that's besides the point. Uh, nothing here as well. So with that done, I think I'm ready to um, finally continue on to this part. Now there is this body over here that was torn apart. Yeah, so he was torn apart by the uh, by the Kraken, and he has very distinct uh, tattoos. I'm assuming he's not European. Uh, maybe he's part of uh, the uh, Formosan uh, delegation from Asia, but um, at the moment I'm not quite sure how to identify him. But at the, at the very least, I know how he died. Um, there's a lot lot happening in those scenes, but I don't have any solid way to identify those people at the moment. Mm, this is one of the officers. Hmm. And again, it's closing without input on my part, uh, as it were timed, uh, as if it were timed, uh, which is weird because like, I could understand that, but it's weird because uh, even when it's done, it still retur returns me back into the memory. So I'm not sure what's the point of that mechanic. I would much rather like to for it to uh, black out after I choose to leave the memory. Uh, who is this? I have no idea, but I know that he was crushed by the beast. Yeah, I must say, I wasn't expecting a, a supernatural element to play a role in... Okay, I can't, I can't inspect those, but I guess... Mm, I didn't expect a supernatural element to play a role in the game, and I'm not quite sure how I feel about it. Like, it's, it's cool and all that, but I think it would be more atmospheric for me, uh, personally, if it was a more grounded story in reality. You know, you know, you, you deciphering the tale of like a mutiny on the ship or, you know, uh, like an illness or a plague that they brought from a foreign land that uh, decimated them instead of a straight up kraken, like from the Pirates of the Caribbean or something. Okay, so that's another one of the officers, but I have no idea how to identify them. Oh, and they I guess they had goats and all that on board, which isn't really surprising if uh, it's a piglet here. If the voyage was very long, it totally makes sense for them to take some livestock uh, for food. Especially, like, a goat could give milk which would last a longer longer time than, you know, just a one-off transaction with you killing the piglet for meat or something. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if uh, they had, like, chickens or something. Mm, okay, so how, how do I exit this? Because I think I looked at them all. Maybe I have to use the... Oh! Okay, so it's an an another one of those instances where I have to use the uh, the pocket watch twice, and it will uh, it will recreate one of the bodies, sort of in a present time, um, for me to get into the other chapter, as it were. I. 
also think that the fact that the pocket watch apparently works in the universe uh, is kind of weird, like because it's straight up magic. Like there isn't uh, there isn't any other way to describe that, and I'm not sure how I feel about that. Like, don't get me wrong, I, I am very much enamored with the concepts of this game. I think it's definitely more ambitious than the Papers, Please, mm, in, its, in its scope, at least uh, so far. Uh, I'm just, you know, w wondering aloud. So is this the guy? I guess he was killed by an explosion of powder. At least I assume so, from the looks of it. It's really cool, the overall aesthetic of this game. I, I dig it a lot. Like, it's so simple, but it's, it's so effective in its uh, simpleness. Mm, okay, so there's the beast. There's the guy. But I still have no names, and I have no idea how to get the names, to be honest, uh, at this point. Okay, so this is the guy from before that was uh, torn apart eventually, so this has to be earlier, the one with, with the tattoos. Hmm. And again, it, it closes after some time, and I'm not sure why it does that and what's the point of that. Mm, yeah, so I have no idea who this is, but I know that he was uh, torn apart uh, by... Uh, oh, well. Hmm. It wasn't... I don't think it was the beast directly. I think it was an explosion, but I wouldn't classify that. I don't think they killed him on purpose, so I guess I'll have to leave that blank for now uh, until I learn more, but I, I have no idea how to get more names, to be honest. Like I, I'm getting a lot of faces, and some of them do repeat uh, uh, among the particular scenes, but I still like I have the, the name Martin, that uh, the woman, uh, the captain's wife, was calling at some point, but I don't know what to do with it at the moment. Hmm. I guess I'll have to go through a couple more memories and maybe it'll start, uh, you know, coming together. Okay, there's a gun deck here or something. Mm, the door is closed. Mm, okay, there, there was a body here, uh, crushed beneath uh, the cannons, but I want to go through the deck first to see if there's maybe anything else. Okay, there's another body here. I'm a little, little, little bit intimidated by the number of the crew and passengers here. It's 60 people. It's going to take quite a lot of time to identify them all. <laughs> That's weird. Uh, they, they just straight up um, extended the cannon through the window in one of the crew quarters. I'm, I wonder if that was a, um, if that was a um, 
common, common practice. Because I assumed at first that all of those rooms here uh, are like crew quarters for, I don't know, lower lower officers or something. Because obviously the uh, the um, bottom of the barrel uh, seamen would be just sleeping, I assume, uh, on the lower deck in like a joint space. Mm. But if it if it is a lower officer's quarter, then it strikes me as mightily weird that they just hoisted a cannon uh, into one of those and extended it through the window there. I'm just checking the overall layout of the scene before I start to uh, investigate the bodies. Hmm. So this is the toilet, I guess. <laughs> Imagine what a um, what a strange rendezvous would would it be for you to always be crapping in pairs, you know? Like I I understand that it's for the purposes of conserving space, but it's still a little bit um, difficult to swallow by today's sensibilities, you know. Uh, that you would always have a partner on the crapper. Um, okay, so I think I'm done and there are only two bodies here. So I'm assuming one of those will do this, this strange thing with the bell and the pulsating energy and then transport, transport me further back. Okay, so I th I'm assuming this is the guy that got crushed. And again, this, there's a lot happening in this scene. Why do I... Like, some of them look so similar that I'm having trouble to distinguish them. Uh... But okay, this guy got crushed by a cannon, and there was something, someone shouting "Sir," uh, which makes me uh, assume that one of them was a lower rank addressing the officer. So I guess this would be the officer in question. But they didn't specify his rank or uh, his name. So again, I'm left with like I know what happened to the guy, but I have no idea how to correctly ide identify him. How did they die? They got uh, crushed by a cannon. Hmm. Okay, and, I, and I, again I have this opportunity to materialize another body. So that would make it three on this deck. Mm, but I think first I'll go for the other one because it was already here uh, when I first entered. Oh no! You're cut! Don't leave me. Bear up, son. I'll stay with you. T tell Pete's mother I, I... I tried my best. Aye. To pull him back, to save him. You tell her yourself. <coughs> Brennan! Bring the surgeon's kit! <coughs> okay, so... This guy is dying... from, I think, being... Assuming from the amount of blood, I would say stabbed or something. Mm, this is one of the officers. Again, there's a lot of people on the scene, but hmm, 
it happened here, and there's a couple of them dead here. Maybe they were shot? Mm, and those are two officers as well. Mm. Mm. But then there is this guy with a club, but I don't think a club could have caused all that. Mm. Mm, and there was there were some names mentioned as well. Um, the... Which might uh, might help me if I browse the list of the crew. Mm. Okay, he's blurred, so the game assumes that I have no idea how to. Uh, find him yet which makes me a little bit uh you know makes me feel a little bit at a little bit more at ease at uh, the system actually i should probably check the pictures mm, tell pete's mother uh, okay so i guess this is pete's the guy that was dying is pete's uh father i guess because it would make sense for him to want to tell his wife and the boy's mother that he tried to save him. Uh, Brennan, bring the surgeon's kit. But Brennan would be one of the other officers, right? That they wanted to help. Uh, it's not one of the guys here. This, this is the guy speaking to Brennan. So I'm assuming it's either this one... Mm, but that's not an officer. That's not an officer either, so they're all dead, so I'm not even sure. Maybe maybe that's not an officer that he's talking to. I... Oh, again, it's going to... It's going to recreate one of the bodies. I'm still not 100% certain what that mechanic is supposed to even signify, but I think I'm going... As I said, I think I'm going... Uh, back in time, as it were. Uh, further, further and further, and those bodies that are appearing, uh, they weren't here at the start, because the start uh, of the game is the end of the story. Mm, okay, but there was one more... Uh, no, 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 it's actually two more bodies on this deck over here, because one... Is over here from earlier. So let's check this one. Whoa. I wonder if that was deliberate? If so, then that's quite a brutal method of execution getting shot with a cannon at point blank basically mm, but judging from the way they sounded I think it was an accident ah there's another guy here I think it's the one from before that got crushed with the cannon And there are all those others here. This one has appeared in a lot of memories. It's the one that was standing over over there with the club in one of the others. And there is this guy with the tattoos again. Mm, but I have no idea how to properly identify them at the moment. And I've been through a couple of those memories at this point. And I'm getting a lot of faces, but not a lot of names. Mm, okay, so this guy was... No, 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 he was uh, shot. He was shot with a cannon, but I have no idea who, who he is or how he... I 
and this one, I think this is the one that got crushed, right? Let's check over here. Mm, it, it, it's a little bit tricky to target this one, because the game seems to be somewhat apprehensive about that. I want to tag him as crushed by the cannon, while I'm here, because otherwise I think I'll eventually forget. Uh, but it's not its not the same guy, actually. Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. So, so, so which one is... Which one is this one, then? I don't even know if I see him over here. Uh, not him. Not him. Not him. So, where even is he in this particular scene? I was operating under the assumption that that's him, but apparently... Mm, apparently that's not the case. I'm a little more than a little bit, little bit confused, actually. Where is the other guy? I don't even see him in the scene. So how am I supposed to... Identify him. Okay, again. It will create another body. I'm getting confused by those because... It's already like three new ones on this deck alone. Yeah, but it, this is the guy that was crushed by, by the cannon, right? Or is it a separate guy from the other... I'm getting awfully confused here. Uh, Mm. No, it, it actually is a separate guy, because this is the first one. He was here from the start, as signified by the fact that his uh, bones... Uh... Ah, okay, that's actually very useful. That I can open the book, uh, well, the pocket, pocket watch is up, mm, to flip to the relevant book, I mean relevant page. Mm, I've inspected this one. So... Yeah, 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 this one is, is a... Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. This is this one, right? But this is a separate body, so I'm not sure why... Why it's not flipping to another page. Hmm. Well, in any case, I don't think I... Just, this just appeared, right? Mm -hmm. From the past. Okay, so this guy was 
crushed by the beast uh, alongside the cannon. And this is the guy from before that I wasn't able to determine what happened to. Uh, but I'm still... Okay, this, this guy died in the later scene being shot by one of the cannons. But I'm still not sure what happened to this guy because he doesn't seem to be dying in this particular scene. Uh, what else here? This guy has appeared in, in a lot of scenes so far. Uh, this guy with the tattoos as well. Mm, okay, I have no idea who this is, but I know he was crushed by the beast. That's uh, more than nothing. I guess, but I still have no names, and it's starting to um, frustrate me a little, because I'm not sure what to do. Well, I guess I can ex inspect this. Hmm. Okay, so it's safe to assume that it's this guy, who already appeared in a lot of uh, scenes, that killed, because there were two bodies here earlier, in one of the earlier scenes, uh, so it's safe to assume that he killed them both with the club, mm, one of the officers, yeah, they are, they are both officers, right? Yeah, he, has, he even has like a crushed face. Uh, and I would assume he also killed... Yeah, and this guy... No, 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 wait. He uh, is the one that was dying over here. But I guess he got stabbed with a knife, I think? Some sharp object. Because uh, it's still stuck in his back here. But I'm not sure by who. Like, I'm assuming this guy as well. Uh, because the stain of blood is uh, following from that place, but I still have no names. Mm, okay, I have no idea who this is, but he got clubbed by that other guy. Hmm. Yeah, and an another, another body will appear now. And it's it's the other officer. Okay, so it's all it's all in a relatively close time together with the scene of the guy dying in one of the quarters over here. Uh, oh and then the knife is even here, so I guess I can return to this scene and mark him as killed with a knife, just for later. Uh, knifed? And I am assuming at the moment that he was killed by the same guy over here, but I guess checking this guy's death should probably prove uh, illuminating. So I guess he shot him? 
wait. I'm confused because that's not the guy, not the guy from before, and uh, not the guy with the club. The guy with the club wasn't an officer, so what gives? Uh, and this, those are two officers fighting each other, and I guess this one got shot in the head. Mm, this guy is still stabbed. So basically, it tells me nothing. Like, the, 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 there was a plan to mutiny against the captain, and I'm assuming this guy, because it was a younger person, from, judging from the voice, this guy heard about it and wanted to warn him or something, and they killed him. But there was also the, this brawl between the, ofi the officers, but I have no names, so uh, I. Mm, Captain cannot be trusted. Have a plan. Mm, I only know this guy was sh shot with a gun, but I'm not sure by whom. Mm, okay, so another body will appear. If I activate this... Ah, there's a... I wasn't here, damn it! I should probably revisit this part because I totally wasn't aware of the fact that there is something happening on the upper deck as well. There are two more people here and I guess this guy would be the guy with the club and he went down and then killed the other guy who survived with the club. That's my, my theory, but there's also this guy. Somebody is getting thrown overboard, but I'm not sure if that's a body or or a, um, an, or a living person. Oh, there's another body here. Well, it's not, not really a body, it's a couple of bones. But still, I didn't notice that at first. It's probably worth investigating. So let's do that. I'm getting a lot of setup. I guess this is the, the sketch artist, that, because it's, it seems awfully like a signature. It's the sketch artist that made the, you know, the sketches, and he was crushed by the Kraken while, I don't know, he was either relieving himself, or maybe he was sick, or like poisoned or something. But I'm assuming his direct cause of death was getting crushed. So that's what I'm going to write in the report. Uh, there is this guy, I think I've seen him already. Hmm. Seems nobody else really noticed that. They are just eating uh, food here. And a couple of guys talking. Hmm. It should be relatively easy to find the sketch artist because I have his initials and how many people with the initials ES can there be in the crew? Uh, he was crushed by the beast. Uh, ES... Mm. 
Evil Freak, Davy James, blah blah blah. Um, known ES. Yeah, right. He's even listed as an artist, so this has to be him. Edward Spratt uh, was crushed by a terrible beast. Um, okay, but still, <laughs> I have to get at least two more. Oh, okay, it's another one of those situations. You have to get at least two more. Uh, ah, again, there's an upper deck situation that I didn't check. Hmm. I'm not sure what they are doing with him. And there is also a person being thrown overboard um, somewhere nearby. I need to get at least two more names um, until um, I will be able to confirm uh, the next set of three, but like, I'm pretty sure I am correct about the artist, because it's pretty self-explanatory, self but I'm not sure what to do next. Okay, I'll, I'll view this one, because I uncovered it earlier. Okay, so this guy, he, I don't think I've seen him before, was shot by one of the women. It's not the captain's wife. I'm assuming she was dead already at this point. Yeah, but that doesn't really... Okay, that's one of the officers I've seen a lot. And this one, this guy as well. This guy is really, uh, he's really been around, uh, you know, in a lot of those memories. Mm, and this is the captain. So, wait, was he shot by the captain or by the? No, I am assuming it's pretty direct that he was shot by uh, the woman, uh, judging from the angle of the projectiles uh, and all that. But it still doesn't give me any names. Not that I know, at least. And he's blurred, so the game, yeah, appears blurred. Blurring indicates that you don't have sufficient information to determine the, their identity. And their fate may be known and can, it can be entered now. Trying to name them while their face is blurred would be unproductive. Okay, carry on and pay attention. Faces will become unblurred while necessary information to identify them has been revealed in some way. So I guess it would be a good idea to go through the sketchbook and see if the game consider, considers any people identif identified at this point. But first, he was shot with a gun. And I'm pretty sure he was shot by this woman. Uh, the captain maybe was aiming at him? But she shot him first. Mm, another body will appear, apparently. There's a lot of them doing that. Mm, but there's also this body over here that they have, haven't checked. Mm, okay, I'll check this body first, and then I'll check the sketchbook before I end the episode. Why didn't it work? Let me on. Over my dead body, you bloody day. Huh? How is that? There's no cause for trouble, boys. Get in the boat. Huh? What I forget. 
You killed my brother. What? That was an accident. The robes. It wasn't his fault. I saw the whole thing. Nice. Oh, I shouldn't have waited so long. No, don't. <laughs> hmm. I think I've seen those guys before. But they mentioned that this guy, I'm assuming, is uh, Danish. So, because he named them, he this the attacking guy named him using his uh, nationality. He said, you bloody Dane. So, I have to check how many Danish people uh, were there in the crew? Uh, maybe it will be easier to assign a name uh, based on that. And they also mentioned that... Oh, oh, wait, 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 this is the guy with the book. This is the... what's his name? The surgeon of the crew. The only one that got out. But they also mentioned somebody Somebody's brother. Yeah, you bloody Dane. Uh, you killed my brother. Hmm. Okay, now, what was the web? I didn't pay attention, damn it. I should have. Uh, that's like a club, I think. Uh, yeah, and this is definitely the book. It's very, uh, it's very characteristic, uh, thick and um, bound. So I'm assuming this is the ship's surgeon there. Then the only one that got out, mm, and this guy is Danish. So maybe I'll be able to. was clubbed and now Denmark England England uh, no hmm. I think yeah I think there's only one Danish guy uh, Lars Linde so this would be him but I don't know who this is well, I'm going to close the memory for now and check the sketchbook to see um, what the game considers uh, uncovered uh, identities for now. Okay, know who this is. Can I? Mm, I think I can judge it from the intro to the book because I think he said uh, where he is. Uh, that would be Henry Evans, the surgeon. Uh, Mm. Offer return the book by granted post to the French Office of Affairs in Morocco. So I'm assuming he also is in Morocco because he wants me to return the book, so return it to him. Uh, so I think this is... Ah, okay. Well, but I think... I think... 
that should be him, right? He, he had the book, and I think he's alive in... Hmm. Well, okay, I'll leave it for now. Let me go to... Because the game seems to think I have no way to identify him. Um. Hmm. Apparently I should be able to know who this is, which is definitely strange to me. Because... Hmm. And apparently I also should know all of the w all of the women by now, which is also kind of surprising to me. Hmm. Okay, to be honest, I have no idea how to determine the fates of them, so I think I'm going to end... Wait, I need to locate the next body. Uh, I think this one appeared last time from over there. Yeah, I, I think I need more information. At this moment I'm a little bit lo- well, more than a little bit lost. Mm. So I guess this episode was mostly set up. I didn't even solve- well, I guess I quote-unquote solved the uh, artist, but that's, that's only because it was pretty obvious. Uh, I think I'm going to end it here, and I'll start the next one by investigating this one. Okay, so that's all for this one, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!